I've got great news, everybody. Amazon finally has houses. Amazon is now selling houses. I'm 23 years old. I just bought a house off Amazon. I don't know when this became a thing, but it is now, and some guy did it. A man bought a house on Amazon, and I want to see what happens when you do so. So let's get into it. So this is a little introductory TikTok. I guess people started to realize on TikTok that you could buy a house on Amazon. So uh, she is expressing that here. You can buy a prefabbed house on Amazon and literally build it in eight hours. And here is uh, one of the houses in question. Three reviews, three stars. I mean, it's not a huge house. I'll say that. It is only $8,000. I think the one that the guy actually buys is more than that. And I think it's gonna be bigger than this. I don't know, the thing that's throwing me off the most is the fact that you could build it in eight hours. And literally build it in eight hours. I don't know at the end of the day if houses are meant to be built in eight hours. Like, do you wanna live in something you threw up in an afternoon. That doesn't seem like it should be a permanent structure, your permanent shelter. But I don't know, maybe this thing is uh, well made. Oh, it's okay, container house. So maybe it's made out of a shipping container? Maybe the whole thing actually shows up fully assembled and you just have to like plug some stuff in maybe? If it's made out of like steel, I guess that would be you know, pretty structurally sound. If there's any actual construction involved, there's no way that this takes only eight hours though. There's windows to install, there's door frames, electrical. Maybe there's like an asterisk on the Amazon listing that's like, takes eight hours uh, with a, a crew of 30 men. Okay, here's some more details on a different Amazon house listing. This one has four stars and five reviews. I mean, I guess these are super expensive and specialized products, so I wouldn't expect them to have that many reviews. Like, I'd be surprised if it had like 10,000 reviews. But still, like, I'm not gonna take five people's word for a $35,000 purchase on Amazon. Amazon is now selling houses for only the small price of $35,000, which honestly, kind of reasonable. I mean, it is reasonable for a house. Does it say anywhere where the house? How big the house is? Oh yeah, okay, it does. Tiny home, 19 by 20 feet. So doing the math in my head, that's a little less than 400 square feet. So I wouldn't say that's like a lot of space. That's pro that's like about as big as a one bedroom apartment, right? Depends on the apartment, I guess. Oh, expandable, plastic, prefab house. Wait, it's not even, it looks like it should be, I thought it was gonna be metal or something. Expandable plastic prefab house. So you buy it and it expands? Does it come in like a little pill and then you just add water and then it's a house? Apparently people are tagging Austin McBroom in the comments. Oh man. Well, yeah, he does need to get one of these. But I have a confession to make. I did not actually buy this house. All right, well then why are we watching your video, dude? I want to see what the house looks like. So just doing a little bit of research here. There are much less expensive houses too. Portable prefabricated tiny home, 30 by 20 feet for $10,000. I want to read some of the reviews on these. This one's got six pretty positive reviews. Let's see here. It's good. It's good. Pop cards. Okay. Did you think you were reviewing Pop-Tarts? Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Tastiest house I've ever eaten. Where's the electrical? One star. I don't see any ceiling lights, wall switches, or electrical outlets. Also, no provisions for either heat or air conditioning. I would pass on this. Oh no. Your house arrived and you can't have electricity in it. Actually, I'm looking at the pictures. I don't see any lights or wall outlets. I guess it is literally the most bare bones house uh, you could buy. This one put five stars and the review is, I want one. Don't you have one? They said, I want one, but what if it can't hold the wet? Weather, question mark question mark well as someone who bought one you should be able to answer that did you buy one how are you reviewing this product okay anyway uh let's get to the actual purchase of the house so we can watch this whole saga unfold i'm 23 years old i just bought a house off amazon take the card take the fucking card away i bought a fucking house on amazon a house a whole house on amazon Okay, so he's got the receipt and everything. So he posted this January 24th, and the house is gonna be arriving January 29th to the 30th. So it's only gonna take six days for this house to show up. How do they even ship it? It's gotta be a big truck. That is lightning fast, dude, for a house. And we already know it's not gonna take very long to assemble. This dude's gonna be in his house before we know it. Now, I am a little curious about his situation right now. Does he have land for the house? Does he already have a house, and this is just gonna go in his backyard or something? Like, where's where's he gonna put this? Okay, so the one that he bought was 26,000 total. Well, 24,000 and then $2,000 in taxes. Shipping costs zero dollars? Someone is doing that for free? Hauling a whole house to you? That's kind of crazy. Amazon Prime is 
nuts, dude. Another thing I'm curious about is, does he not want a house? He kept saying, like, take my card away. I didn't want to do this. Take the card. Take the fucking card away. Were you in the market for a house? Because, see, I didn't even know you could buy houses on Amazon until this happened. So I wouldn't even think to accidentally do this. But it seems like you got yourself in a situation that most people don't even know exists. All I'm going to say is... Go buy your house, shit. And now he's recommending other people do it. Take away my credit card, guys. I should not have done this. I should not have bought a house. I'm so stupid. Anyways, guys, get your houses in the link down below. I've got an affiliate link and I will get some of the proceeds. All I'm say is Amazon is really like a dangerous place. Cause it's like, really? Houses? Bitch, I didn't even think twice about it. I just did Okay, it. that is scary. I mean, like, traditionally buying a house, there is a lot of rigmarole you have to go through. There's a lot of time to back out, but he didn't even have a second to back out. And even if he wanted to cancel the order, he's only got a few days to think about it. The house will be upon him. The house is going to be on top of him. Like, he's the Wicked Witch of the East before he knows it. I don't even know where I'm going to put the house. Oh, no. Can you buy land on Amazon? Land. 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 No. Oh, no, dude. You are screwed. So... I, I can see what he's saying about Amazon being a dangerous place now because there's definitely some other things that you had to think through before ordering a house. Do you need a foundation even for one of these like prefab houses? It, doesn't it need to sit on something it, aside from just the grass? That doesn't seem very stable. I feel like if there was like a strong gust of wind, the house would blow away or something. Okay, next TikTok, the house is here. So now we finally get to see the house in action. Five guys and 27 minutes later, it's here. This one took 27 minutes to set up? Dude, all right, if you're gonna buy a house, buy this one. Eight hours versus 27 minutes is insane. I guess they did have five guys on the job. All right, y'all, the house is here. Before I show y'all the house, I wanna thank Karina because she was an Amazon specialist. She seen my TikTok. Um, and she says she follows me and she loves me. She gave me upgrades, y'all. She gave me a whole different color house. And it's, on the papers, it says the square footage is way bigger. Whoa, okay, so we got hooked up by Amazon for making that video. Amazon, hook me up with a house. Send me a house. I need a house for my house. It could be my son's house. I'll put it in my backyard. He can have his own house. He's lived here long enough. Five months, it's time to move out. So they opened it. They unfolded it for me and everything. Look, I don't know anything about the structural integrity of this house, but just the term unfolded does worry me. They unfolded it. The house arrived and they unfolded it like it's a piece of origami. Like you better hope that it's not gonna fold while you're asleep. If it unfolds, it could fold. And then where are you gonna be? Like the Wicked Witch of the East, man. The house is storage at right now because I have not bought the land yet. He still doesn't know where he's gonna put it, so he's storing it somewhere. Is it stored somewhere right now? Because it's unfolded. Or is it just like at in his apartment building's parking lot or something? Does he just have a house at his apartment right now? If it's here every week, I have to give them 150 every week because it's storage here. So now instead of paying rent at his apartment, he's got a house that he is also paying rent for while he is still paying rent for his apartment. He's gotta pay rent for him to live somewhere and then he has to pay rent for his house to live somewhere. This is the outside. They already set it up and everything. This the plumbing and stuff right here. Okay, it looks like really short to me. That's the first thing I'm noticing. Like he's standing next to the house and it's like a foot maybe taller than him. And then as he's walking around, you notice that it's also propped up off of the ground a few inches. So it's really maybe only like three inches taller than he is. I feel like just walking around, you'd be bumping your head on the ceiling. You don't think to look at that when you're looking at the Amazon listing. You want want to know horizontal space. How much room do I have to run around? You don't even think how much room do I have to jump around because you would just assume they would make it like regular size. Like rooms have a regular height to them, but apparently not so. This is one of the couches she gave me. I don't know if this is a couch or a deck. Let me stop saying that. This is one of the things she gave me. That is definitely an outdoor couch and an outdoor table. I have actually an outdoor couch that looks very similar to this. I don't know if that like says good things about the structural integrity of the house if they're giving you like water <laughs> weatherproof furniture. That's not good. This is the bathroom. I mean all things considered like it's you know it's the size of a one bedroom apartment and if you have your own land and you want to just plop this down as long as it's like structurally sound that seems like a, a fine deal. Oh, here's another couch. Okay, that's it. That's indoor furniture for sure. Yeah, it looks like there's like a lot of like hinges and joints everywhere. That would concern me. Listen, Karina, I don't know if you're trying to be shady, sister, but pink. 
Girl, call me again. We'll have a talk. Um, I'm just playing. Thank you, though. Didn't sound like you were playing. It sounds like you're actually pissed at her. Thank you for the furniture, but honestly, it fucking sucks. You sent me the wrong shit. An outdoor couch and a pink couch? The ceilings, I'm 5'8", so... The ceilings are not like too high. Yeah, okay, so he's 5'8". In this area, it's, you know, he can touch the ceiling and then he walks into this area where it looks even lower. I'm 5'10", so I'd be two inches taller than him in here. Yeah, I don't think I'd like this. I would feel very claustrophobic. Let's check out the next update. Oh, that's not a good sign. Whatever he's doing next in the house, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Warning, do not buy a house on Amazon. It will fold up while you're asleep. So a lot of people been asking me, am I gonna um, live here? I'm not gonna live here. I'm actually gonna Airbnb here. What? Dude, no, <laughs> no. Do not turn this into an Airbnb. The um, ceilings are very small, I'm 5'8". I'm touching, I could touch the ceiling. Yeah, well you bought it, man. Don't make it other people's problems. I don't know if other people have this experience, but like every Airbnb I've booked in the past like two years have made me be like, I'm never booking an Airbnb again. Cause you always show up and then there's some shit like this where it's like, oh, you thought it was a normal house? Well, it's actually, the ceilings are six feet high. Sorry. And the doors are two feet tall. You gotta crawl through the doors. Or it's like an apartment that somebody lives in and they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna be here chilling if that's okay. The last Airbnb we got was an apartment. It was clearly just some lady's apartment. And every time we wanted to park at the apartment, we had to text her and ask her to generate a new code for us to get into the parking garage. She would have to pretend like she was getting a delivery and get a code so that we could just go park. So like every time we wanted to go into the Airbnb, we had to get a code. It sucked. Why do people think that they can pawn off their bad Amazon purchases as Airbnbs? Please. Don't do this to someone. It's like you're acknowledging that it's not a livable house and then you're like, so I'm not gonna live there, but I am gonna make, I'm gonna trick other people into doing it. About the electrical, the plumbing and everything, I have all that set up. Well, you don't have to set it up if you're not gonna live there. If you're just gonna Airbnb it, you know, you don't even have to do anything to it. Just throw it up on the Airbnb website. They're, they can figure it out when they get there, you know? They'll bring candles. The couches, the pad, these couches, I'm not gonna keep these. I don't like them, um, I actually, Oh my god. He hates everything about this. It's funny because he said earlier that the Amazon person that he talked to watches his videos and loves his videos and he's like actively shit talking her. She fucking sucks. She sent me the wrong couches. I also hate this house and I hate her. I actually think she's out to get me. I'm gonna get the walls drywall. You are able to get the walls drywall so I'm gonna do that. You're gonna put like insulation in there also? I mean the drywall is a good idea. Adding drywall, plumbing, electrical, that's all great. It does kind of sound like the house was not built though, technically, if you're still having to do all that. Sounds like you didn't buy a house. It kind of sounds like you still have to build a house inside the house. And that will make the ceilings even lower, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, you're gonna add lights and drywall on the ceiling. So I think participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Maybe they mean booking this Airbnb. It's gonna hurt your neck if you're over six foot or it's gonna hurt your head you're gonna bump it okay let's see what the comments are saying i wouldn't airbnb it i would use it as a salon for someone and they'll just pay you rent you can rent it to some nail techs or esthetician brow specialist etc why do so many people say salons and nail tech do they have like notoriously low ceilings everyone knows every salon is just a shipping container that they just dress up real nice so why don't you just why don't you just do that very smart decision that will bring in realtor income i see this going very far for you social media made millionaires blessings i really dislike the type of person that like tries to make a quick buck off of Airbnb or being a landlord. Some Airbnbs I'm sure are great, but a lot of people who have Airbnbs are just doing it to make the quickest buck possible. Put in as little work, flip a house so poorly, and then like make you take a vacation there. It's not a very smart decision. He was just describing how unlivable the house is, and his solution is to make strangers pay to live there. That's smart as fuck. If you're watching this, Jeff, please put at least in the Airbnb description that the ceilings are only like six and a half feet tall. Because if I showed up on vacation and this was my Airbnb, I would cry. Okay, there's an article about this on the New York Post. Gen Z millennials are becoming homeowners thanks to $30,000 tiny homes on Amazon. Now, look, I know that the housing market is uh, crazy right now. So the more people being able to afford homes, the better. And if there are versions of this, 
that aren't like borderline scams because they're too short, then I think that's great. I think people should definitely buy them and live in them themselves. Buy it, put it on your own land and live there yourself. It's a small price to pay and it's paying off big time. Cut to that dude we were just watching being like, I hate it in here. I'm never gonna set foot in here again. With home ownership being far out of reach for most millennials and Gen Zs due to inflated asking prices, astronomical interest rates and crushing student loan debt, 20 and 30 somethings are getting creative about buying abodes. So rather than scrimping and saving their last pennies in the hopes of one day purchasing a brick and mortar mini mansion, money savvy young adults are turning to an online retail giant for tiny prefab pads. I like that says money savvy young adults as the one TikTok we watched of someone buying it was like, take my credit card away, man. I should not have done this. I just made a horrible financial mistake. So this could be a good thing. These tiny homes, this could be a good solution to some of the housing problem. I have also read that we need more of like that in between housing that you don't really see in America, but you see in a lot of other countries. Things like townhouse houses and duplexes and stuff like that because most of the U.S. is zoned for single-family housing but what we need is more dense housing because that's obviously a lot cheaper so it makes all housing cheaper I think that's what I've read anyway. Nathan Graham, the 27 year old influencer behind kid friendly gaming brand Unspeakable, ignited the viral thunder strike in Amazon house shopping, which has seen over 88,000 folks beneath the TikTok viral hashtag Amazon home bragging about their new nest. Oh, so this all started from a unspeakable YouTube video. It's an awesome name for a kid's YouTuber. What's up, guys? Today we're going to be committing another unspeakable act. Unspeakable Amazon house. I bought a house on Amazon. You can buy buy anything on Amazon, but did you know that you could buy a house? Okay, so from that, it looked like he was buying the $8,000 one. Oh wait, no, $38,000 one. Okay, and I'm just gonna skip forward here to see the inside of the house. And over here, this is my favorite part of the house. We have an 80 inch TV. We got a couch and our bed over here. Okay, no, this one actually looks like it's got decent height ceilings, I think. I don't know how tall these guys are. So maybe it's not that bad. I would still be concerned about insulation because I feel like this is just a sheet of metal between you and the outdoors. I'm not sure about that. And then the whole folding up on you thing, the structural integrity. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you buy a house on Amazon. Thanks. Bye-bye.